And we are back live from the studios of Guff Brisbane. My name is Sam and I'm joined by our fish guy. This is the ACL Sydney uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive Qualifiers. And we are up for Avant Garde versus Xmas. Yeah, it looks like we should be heading into the pistol round momentarily. All players appear to be ready. Just so you know, we have... Well, I mean, I guess you can figure that out for yourself. But we are on dust two here between Avant and Eximus. It's going to be... Uh, well, Snake Wow starting us off with the first kill of the round there onto Catalyst. And uh, Avant Garde going to be on the terrorist side. Obviously, they were the higher pick, uh, the higher seed rather, so they got to pick the map. And uh, that means Eximus have decided they want to start on that counter terrorist side. So, one kill apiece going across so far. Just so you know, Train and Overpass were banned out by Avant, and Eximus banned out Mirage and Cash. So those were the vetoes, and obviously Dust2. And, and pick. Nuke by uh, PDG. PDG, PDG. Yeah. PDG tried to ban out Nuke, but uh, unfortunately that's not in the, uh, the rotation anymore. He's so, actually uh, quite excited to learn that. Was that. A, that was a very happy moment for him. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Well, that was a nice shot there coming out onto PDG by a young tank. Picking up the headshot there with his USP. And it's up to the rest of the Avant team. It's going to be Haz here charging out on point, I guess you could say, with the bomb carrier running behind him. All three of the Avant guys trying to get up here onto the A bomb site. Cruden takes down Dev, though, and uh, Haz managed to trade him out. But it's going to be a 3v2 here for Snake Wow and Haz. And uh, this is going to be tough for Avant, though. They do have that bomb being planted right now. And it's uh, a retake for uh, these guys from Eximus at the moment. It's up to Fid. He gets taken down there by Snake Wow, so now it's all down to Haz. He is a clutch master. We'll see what he can do here. He's on 7 oh HP. Oh my goodness. Takes it out. Has. Young Tank taken down. Has picking up the first round there for Avant with a nice, uh, well, I guess you could say a 2v1 clutch, but uh, really in the end it was a 3v1. Snake Wow backing him up though. So uh, nice work from those two. Nice work indeed. Avant Guard almost throwing that one away. Avant Guard is the number one seed in bracket three. Eximus is the number four seed. They did pick up. Requiem, by the looks of it, 16 to 1 in the previous game in their round one game. Avant Guard getting seeded into round two of bracket three here. So they uh, have not played yet. So this is their warm up game, isn't it, Jordan? This is their, or their first game of this competition. Yep. So uh, they haven't had the benefit of playing a round one, but are obviously getting through without having to play anything at all. Pretty good on its own. Vid, going to take out Chris there. Nice work. Coming out from him, Pistol, up against uh, the SMG, I think it was. But uh, there you go. Dev coming through in the end with an SMG. Oh, Take him out there. Got to flash himself. There we go. Snake Wow taking him out. And uh, only Catalyst and uh, Magnum here. Magnum going to go down. Catalyst on 12 HP. Mark Guard looking to pick up this second round with ease. Having the benefit of all of the weapons. Bomb plant. Is a benefit as well. Obviously, the boy's going to come out losing only two players. Two and zero. Avant Guard going okay. Indeed, they are. They're on to this third round now. Of course, it's going to be another eco round here coming out from Eximus. They're going to have to make do with those USPs for now. But uh, next round will be the one to kind of watch. I think we'll probably see Avant take this round without too much trouble. They've picked up three AKs already, so uh, not really hanging on to those SMGs as long as they perhaps could have, but uh, that always kind of leaves you open for a, a quick force up from uh, the counter-terrorists or whoever loses the uh, the pistol round in that situation. But uh, having said that though, two kills early going in the favour of Eximus. Avant back into a three-man situation though. Chris manages to even up the players into a 3v3. There is one AK now on the side of Eximus. That's going to be Catalyst. He is going to be the one to watch. See what he can do with that one. Chriso takes out Fid. Eximus takes him back in response, but uh, PDG takes down Eximus. So now it's Catalyst. We'll see if he can get any exit frags here. PDG trying to find him. Has spotted him out. Is he going to be able to try and take him on here? He's got the Galil, so you'd have to favor the AK in that situation, though. Having said that, PDG has got uh, head armor, but that's not going to matter when you... Uh, up against an AK, so PDG taken out, but it uh, doesn't matter. The round goes over to Avant, though. They are losing quite a few guns, so their economy, they need to be a little bit careful of that. Yeah, absolutely. They still have the, the cash advantage here, Jordan, but, you know, uh, they're making the most of it here. Are their opponents in Eximus on this CT side making Avant Guard pay dearly for each and every round win uh, so far? 
some people noticing that Snake Wow has joined the cause that is avant guard and uh, Sheep has left, I think. Uh, I heard that the Chiefs uh, kind of parted ways and decided that they wanted to form their own tribes. And uh, Yeah, they've kind of all split up. Uh, a few of them have gone to Streamline, a few of them have gone to XL5, and uh, Snake Wow is now on the Avant team, or in the Avant lineup at the moment. Yeah, at least. and uh, I think uh, the boys at Avant weren't particularly happy with uh, how Sheep played at CGPL, so uh, I think they seem quite happy with Snake Wow. And a very, very solid player, as everyone would have seen for him on the Chiefs. PDG going to come through into mid here, getting a few shots off, getting a few shots onto him himself. Snake Wow giving up his life pretty easily, to be yeah. fair, coming through a short bid. Going to take out Dev, but uh, Chris comes through, takes him out in return. PDG comes through. There's wow. one, there's two. Nice work from him, showing off his knife in the interim. Two players left. Catalyst, no, he is down. Only Young remains, and uh, we will see him down in CT. Going to poke, going to die. Chris picks him up. Nice round win. The uh, the first buy round coming out from Eximus and Avant Guard taking them out pretty easy, pretty yeah. easily to be honest. Yeah. Chris uh, had a pretty good uh, run at CGPL. I mean, he uh, I think their first map that they played there, I don't remember who it was up against, but it was on Dust Two, and Chris dropped a thirty bomb. So uh, certainly comfortable on this map and showing it there. Knew kind of where he had to look for those opponents and was able to take them down without too much trouble in that 1v2 situation. So Chris, we'll keep an eye on him and see how he goes through the rest of this map. Uh, definitely someone who we expect to do well, at least on this map. Uh, and of course, through the rest of the day as well. Okay, so double stack here onto short. It looks like uh, Eximus kind of expecting something onto that area from uh, Avant-Garde, but appears Avant-Garde are more interested in heading towards that B-bomb site. Chris here is going to be on the entry. Can he take out the player up the top there? That is going to be Young Tank easily taken down there by Chris. He gets uh, about 30 damage onto Chris, but uh, probably not enough. Uh, you would have needed at least probably two entries to make this round really worth uh, fighting for, I guess, for Eximus. But uh, Fit trying to do his best to prove me wrong there. He's going to take down Snake. Wow, that's the AWP drop for Avant. Petey picks up one there onto Crude and Chris. So he's going to take out Catalyst as well. It's going to be Chris Magnum. So there's two Chris's in this game. So hopefully we don't get, to get too confused. Chris Magnum, Magnum takes out PG. The AWP is now in the hands of Fit. So he's going to try and save that one. But the Avant guys are on the hunt here. All looking for those players. Fit is going to take down DevK there, but uh, they know exactly where he is. He's going to jump out there. That's going to be Haz. He's taken down there by Fit, and Chris manages to take him out. And oh, picks up two, so. Yeah, that was so actually far. a pretty nice play there from Chris. It, obviously, if it had uh, come off the other way, we would have uh, been giving him a bit of a hard time, but making the boys here at uh, Xmas really work for their weapons, not letting them uh, hold there as another round win comes out for Avant Gaming. 5-0 and zero on the T-side. They are a little bit of a T-sided team, I think. Many people would suggest. Uh, but this is a very good start in any case. Irrelevant of side here. 5 on 5 left. We've gone 1 AWP and 4 M4s on our CT side. 1 AWP and 4 AK-47s coming out for Avant on our T-side. Fit just going to pop up a flash, pull himself back. No one there, however. The guy's still hanging out in that middle area, trying to find themselves a pick. Perhaps Snake Wow on the AWP smoke going to come out onto him, so he's not going to be able to do all too much. Not that there is anyone to see there at all. We will start seeing three plays here from Avat pushing towards this long A side, stacking around into double doors. There we go. Let's have a look at the guys doing. Catalyst, will he get one? He does. Picks up. Chris going to come back into pit. Will he be able to get any more kills here? He pokes out. Nothing is going to come of that. He is unfortunately down. Fid and Cruden picking up Snake Wow and has. So two players left here for Avant Guard. Fid picks up Devington. Only one player left. That is PDG. He has a lot of work to do. He is down. There we go. Avant Guard 5-1 up. But Eximus going to come out there, Jordan, and take their first win of this map. Yeah, and as a result of all the, the deaths that Avant were kind of on the receiving end of in the, those first five rounds, uh, they're not going to be able to 
pick up any guns in this seventh round because uh, you know they've had to keep rebuying and uh, they haven't got the economy for that even though they won so many rounds in a row. So uh, Avant not in a fantastic position here, but it is a good opportunity for them to reset the uh, money bonus on uh, the counter terrorists if they do uh, pick up this pistol round or this eco round, which uh, would be a sight to see, but. Definitely going to have to play very superbly if they want to do that. Dev K has got himself the Deagle, which uh, the Avant boys all seem to love. They all tend to go for that Deagle, but uh, at the moment it's only going to be Dev on that one. Chris and PDG taken down there by Chris Magnum. He actually finds three in the end. Snake Wow eventually trades him out, but uh, Eximus looking good in this round so far. Dev K uh, taken down as well, so the, uh, the Deagle not there anymore, and Snake Wow. In the end, taken down there by Catalyst. They only managed to pick up one kill here. Uh, so we'll see if they do decide to go for a buy here. Don't have quite a huge amount of cash, but uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to go for the Tech Nines and a, a few smokes. Yeah, just a little bit of a buy up, keeping a fair bit of cash, however. All of them sitting on at least $2,500 worth of monies there is the Avant team. I must admit, if you are, uh, they do love the Deagles though, don't they? Really, stack coming out there. Snakewell and uh, Chris and Peter and Has all going to go down. Devington getting picked up as well. I was about to say, uh, if you ever watch PDG's stream over over on Azubu TV, Jordan, you will just see him playing the one v one Deagle, Deagle, Deagle. Deagle. That's all he does. Yeah. So, uh, and then showing off his knife. That's about all he does, honestly. That that's his <laughs> life these days. So, uh, not not working out for them this time around, but a full buy coming out from both sides. Three and five. Xmas starting to make their way back here, Jordy. Yeah, the uh, buy round coming out here from Avant. It's going to be Snake Wow with the AWP, as expected. And uh, Avant probably want to pick up this round here because uh, they had such a good start and they've just dropped three rounds in a row relatively quickly. Uh, having said that, they were two Ecos, but... Uh, yeah, they probably wouldn't be too happy so far. Obviously, they want to get as many rounds as they can on this terror side because uh, traditionally, they've been a stronger terror side team than counter terror side. But uh, certainly can play that counter terror. And we'll see maybe Snake Wow going to bring some strategies with him as he joins the team on that counter terror side. Who knows? Fit though starts us off. Chris Wow, Chris O, rather, is taken down there with that AWP. So a uh, 4v5 now for Avon. And someone is going to need to make an entry. It looks like... Uh, PDG is trying to lurk around long while the rest of his team is going to be here on short. Fid watching that one with the orb. All of the smokes and flashes going to come across. Here we go. And Fid completely flashed out there. The entry is onto the site. Uh, well, we're watching Cruden at the moment on long, which is unfortunate. But Fid, well, he tried to get a shot off there, but it wasn't going to happen. Snake Wow too quick there on the draw. PDG takes down Catalyst as well. Has dropping down into CT. Finds himself one. Can't find the second on the spray down. Cruden takes him out. So it's a 3v2 now. And uh, this is going to be tough for Eximus. A two-man two retake. One of you has the AWP. Having said that, though, it is dust. There are long sight lines. PDG finds one onto Chris Magnum. And uh, Cruden has picked himself up an AK, but uh, it's probably not going to be enough you would expect. Managed to find one, but Dev K in the end takes him down. So six rounds now in the favor of Avant-Garde. And they're going to pick up two orps for free on that one. Keep keeping those ones through. Avant turning, turning it around here. And uh, nice work coming out from them. The boys should be pretty happy with that one. Um, we did see that the old uh, spectator client failing us just at the last minute. It's okay, I know how to click a mouse button. Mm. We're all good. I know how to spectate the CS go. So we'll see what the guys are going to come out here. Nice little buy coming out from both teams. Double AWP for Avant. Obviously saving both those from their previous round. Only one AWP on our CT side. Cruden going to get forced back by that flash. He checks out mid. Avant guard looks like they're trying to get into that mid area. Here comes PDG. He is coming through the middle area into B-bomb. Throws out a nade. Going to force back Cruden by the looks of Cruden. Takes one. Will Peter? No, doesn't even matter. I suspect the boys have made their way through. They do have this bomb site locked down. Fid and Magnum are the players left here for our CT side. We jump and see what those guys are going to do. Fid going to poke up here with the AWP. Is he going to get the right peak? He is not. He goes down. And we find our last player here. He's going to go down as well with Dev taking out Magnum. Do you ever watch Magnum P.I., Jordan? No, I did not. It is one of my favourite shows. If you haven't seen it, I have all eight seasons on disc at home if you want to borrow them. Okay. It's pretty good. He'll show you how to pick up the girls. Okay. Well, certainly uh, 
Bit of banter coming out from Sandman, which is not a surprise there. Snake Bow, though, starting us off with a nice kill on, uh, onto Young Tank, who was trying to cross, and that's got to be the worst feeling when you're playing Dust, uh, when you get taken down on the cross. Meanwhile, though, has going ham here in uh, Long. He's going to take down two before PG team kills him and picks up the third kill there onto Fid. Uh, so maybe some stern words coming out there from Haz on towards PG for the rest of this round. Yeah, PDG, a little bit a little bit rude there. Nice little flash. Coming around the corner, Karuna gets one. Will he get two? Going to get forced back. Oh, my goodness. Almost getting the double. But uh, those uh, CCs have so little ammo, Jordan, that uh, it just makes it very, yeah. very difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, basically, if you miss your first uh, sort of spray down, you're uh, in a bit of trouble, basically. But... Uh, Nonetheless, we're going to see another buy round coming out here for Eximus. They've got the AWP once again. There is one from us, though, there onto Chris Magnum. So uh, not a perfect buy, though. The double AWP setup coming out here from Avant doesn't appear to be working out so far. Snakewell taken down there by Fid. Has got a, has, has got a perfect uh, spray down there onto two players. Young Tank managed to find PDG, who was on the lurk there at the B bomb site. The bomb was not spotted at B, so they're going to send... Uh, uh, Chris Magnum to kind of rotate towards mid. Uh, they know that there's going to be a few players here on long as well. The flash is coming out. Cruden avoids that one very easily. And has though, is going to sort of trade him out there. Avant doing a pretty decent job on the trade so far here. Chris Magnum is pushing through the smoke just in time. Chris he might get caught, this. caught with his nade out. Has doesn't have any idea where he is. Oh, what a, sh what a shot. Dropping around there. Just the flick. But the bomb is down in a very poor position here for Avant. And Young Tank cleans that one up without too many issues. But it was probably a little closer for Eximus than they would have liked. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Avant Guard getting caught out along that long A. Coming through the smoke. And the FAMAS proving to be very, very strong at that range. And uh, getting the better of the boys. Uh, they weren't really paying attention, to be fair. So... Let's see what Avant Guard are going to do here. We are 12 rounds in. This is round number 13. They are the Terrace side. We do have Eximus on the CT side. Just poking both uh, both bomb sites by the looks of things. And uh, I don't know which way this is going to go. Has taking out Catalyst. Uh, first player down will go on to the CTs. Here we go. Poking out is Snake while Poking out at the... Complete wrong time there. Magnum going to take him out again with that for Mass. Four on to four. Orp on one team. No Orp on the other, however. Here we go. There we go. Magnum again. He loving this for Mass. Like some of the Euro teams we do see pulling those one out. It is actually used by the French, by the way. So maybe that's, that's the deal there. But you'll never, never know, I suppose. Three on to four. Fid Young, Magnum and Cruden. Might, uh, might be able to get Avant here. Avant has run out of time. They are down to 30 seconds. They really need to find themselves uh, an entry, perhaps. We jump on here as Peter has managed to pick himself up. Or poor, poke in the corner. Pokes Magnum. Takes him out. Will he get another? No, he won't. Young taking him down. And uh, one on to two. 15 seconds on the clock. Avant guard going to get the bomb plant down. They did do very well there to get a nice little entry onto that A-bomb site, Peter. Doing some damage of his own. Here comes Young. He's going Ooh, to... Oh, yeah. Straight through that one. Down to 26 HP. He does have an AK. I think maybe he wants to try and pick up an exit here. Uh, going to grab that orb and, and just come back in to mid. Uh, where is our last Avant play going Ooh. to go? Has oh. running right across the sights of Young. And uh, a round win for Avant. Uh, but nice play there from Young to pick up a kill and pick up an AWP. This is round 14, only two left in this half. What do you think? You think Avant Guard will be happy with with 9, you know, 10, 11? Oh, I'm sure they'd be ecstatic if they get to 10 or 11 rounds. But uh, for me, a lot of these rounds have actually been relatively close. So I can't say Avant have really been demolishing Eximus at the moment. I think if, if a couple of clutch sort of situations had gone in the way of Eximus, we could be seeing a, a relatively closer scoreline. But having said that, Young Tank... He's going to be here on the B bomb site defending up and takes down PG, who decided to run through the smoke uh, without the aid of the rest of his team, who uh, opted to stay in upper tunnels with that bomb. So we'll see if they continue to head towards this B bomb site or whether they opt to go for a bit of a rotation here. The decoy, though, from uh, 
Eximus, interestingly enough, has been thrown into the tunnels there. Chris, if they could pop pock out now, uh, they would have had a good chance there with uh, that flash being held in the hand of one of those Eximus players, but uh, wasn't the case. Perfect flash going in there onto all four members of uh, Alive from Avant, and uh, definitely spelt death for them. Yeah, they, they really found themselves caught out there coming in to be bomb site from tunnels. Jordan, we are on to round 15 here. Five on to nine is the score. This is this is our uh, round two. Well, you know, this is the second part of this bracket. So uh, it is double elimination, best of ones all the way through to I think the semis or the finals. But we'll just jump through here because the spectator client is just no good. Bit trying to pick up uh, an orb kill, going to get forced back with a flash. Avant Gun going to get this bomb plant down by the looks of it. Snake Wow going to find his feet a little bit cinched. Chris going to get taken out there. Devington has fallen back to pit. Will he get... No, going to miss Magnum. Going to get flashed as well. So uh, this might be a little bit of a, of a difficult situation here. Dev, however, picks up one. Will he get Magnum? Magnum up against Dev. He's on the defuse. Avant Guard picking up the final round of the first half. 10 to 5. Nice work there from Dev. Picks up the double with the orb Snake. and saves the day. The scout. But, uh, really? That, <coughs> yeah. It's even more impressive. That was, uh, <coughs> excuse my voice, the scout. Uh, that was kind of pretty uh, good play there from Avant. Uh, they had they knew that the bomb was planted for long and they sent, uh, I think it was, was it Dev K? Uh, down towards Pit. And uh, there's not a whole lot you can do there in a one, vo one versus one situation as the counter terrorist trying to defuse the bomb. Uh, obviously, you, you know, you have to defuse the bomb when the timer's running out, but uh, you can't really take that battle in the, uh, up against someone who's got a scout or an AWP or something like that. Uh, otherwise, you lose too much time. And obviously, if you don't take up that battle, you, uh, in the end, uh, get killed while you're defusing the bomb. So some good play there from the Avant guys. And uh, we'll see what they can do here on the counter-terrorist side. Eximus, though, managed to find five rounds on the, their counter-terrorist side. So not a hugely awful result from them. But uh, this uh, pistol round looks like it might be going in the favor of Avant at this stage. It's two kills. Uh, two players, rather, left alive for Exodus on that T side of theirs. Though they do have control of the B bomb site for now. We can see a player from Avant coming here from behind them from the tunnels. And it's going to be Fid here trying to get the bomb down. He does manage to do so. But in the meanwhile, his teammate Cruden goes down. And it's going to be a 3v1 there, uh, which is an easy cleanup there for the Avant team. Nice round win for the boys. On Avant Gaming, the guys, however, over Eximus, starting to let this one get away from them, Elfish Guy. Avant Guard is the number one seed in this group. However, Eximus, the fourth seed. So uh, perhaps a little bit, you know, a little bit better than, uh, than Eximus, or at least considered to be so. But Eximus has been playing pretty well, to be fair. Mm. Um, just losing the pistol rounds now on both occasions, which does obviously put you at... A bit of a disadvantage uh, throws away a couple of rounds. So, we'll see what strats these guys here are going to pull out. Now they are on our T side. Looks like we're going to stack onto B-Bomb. Smoke is down. Flash did pretty well to get out of there without uh, too much damage from that flash. Snakewell gets one. No, he won't get any more. There we go. Eximus uh, Young Tank going to poke around this corner. Will he get one? No, Chris. Too strong onto him. Bomb has been dropped as well. And we will see Chris getting the double there. Nice work. Easy done. UMP too strong. And uh, 12 and 5. Avant Guard starting to pull away. Yeah, PDG opted for the uh, uh, the shotgun in that round. But uh, not going to go for it. Once again, I believe his, his Mag 7 is called Bank of Atletico, which is uh, the old name of the team. Atletico before they were picked up there by Avant. Snake Wow, though, picking up the first kill of the round with that AWP of his. It's going to be Eximus with all the AKs that they need, but uh, not working out too well for them so far. They've dropped a couple of players. They have managed to trade out one, but Snake Wow coming up huge in this round. He's picked up three kills already with that AWP and uh, certainly paying off for him so far. Has is going to push up here on towards uh, short catwalk uh, area and see what he can spot, but there's no one there. So he's just going to have a look around and see what kind of information he can get. Cruden is going to jump up there onto Xbox. And I'm not sure how uh, Has didn't manage to take him out there because uh, he would have expected... It would have been relatively easy seeing as he wasn't focusing on uh, that player, but it doesn't matter. In the end, it's going to be two versus four here. Young Tank is going to try and take down the player in pit. I think that was Dev 
K, who indeed actually was taken down. Cruden managed to find another one in there as well. So it's now a 2v2 here and looking very winnable at the moment uh, for Eximus. But having said that, Snake Wow's picked up his fourth for the round. Can he find the ace? He's going to run all the way around here to long, which is probably a smart move, knowing that there's a player there onto the A site. Uh, and you've got the AWP, you might as well run down towards Pit, see if you can kill him as he pops up from planting. He's just going to run around the corner right now, but he's not going to be there in time to spot Young Tank as he drops or jumps up there. It's going to be now a 1v1. Has taken down, but Snake Wow picks up the ace for that round, and he's going to be able to defuse as well. So a nice individual performance from him there. Very well done. Got the defuse kit nice and quick. Going to pick up an easy defuse. And yeah, an awesome team down coming out from him. Essentially winning his team the game, really. The round, yeah. Yeah, well, much of a muchness, Jordan. Much of a muchness. And uh, I hope that uh, I hope that um, PDG has renamed his, his weapon to the Bank of Avant Guard. Because to be fair, as Athletico, they really didn't win very many games. I think they took out a game against Immunity in the face that uh, qualifies early in, like, the season. But uh, since then, yeah. Yeah, under, they got the, picked under, up the, by the, under the tutelage of their, uh, of their manager, DEFCON, <laughs> he cut off his hair and, and gave them all his powers. His and powers. They, yeah, and they've done pretty well since. So, we will see the boys here from Exodus pushing out into mid. Snake Wow picks up one, picks up two. Chris gets another two of his own. Exodus going to jump over in to uh, into CT there. Picks up one, but it's not going to do anything other than that. The guy's obviously being forced to stack and eco, but uh, the game, again, just starting to pull away Avant Guard 14 up against Eximus on only five rounds. Only two rounds needed to win. Ten rounds left in the second half here on Dust 2. We shall see if that is going to be the case. Fid here has got himself an AWP. No AWP on the side of Avant Guard, so they're just sticking with those M4s. Oh, no, there is an AWP. My mistake. I see Snake Wow now with that, so... Uh, We'll hold that thought for the moment, perhaps talk about it when Avant actually doesn't have an AWP. But uh, in the end, we'll see what they can do here on the defense up against Eximus, who are, uh, haven't looked too strong here on that terrorist side so far. Cruden, though, is going to start us off there onto Snake Wow, who was the hero in uh, one of the previous rounds. So uh, definitely a good pickup for him. Young Tank finds Devington as well. Uh, so things not looking too good here for Avant just yet. PDG takes down Chris, though, uh, but is going to uh, see Chris... Of the Chris on his team taken out by Kruden. Uh, so a 4v2 now here. Has, he's going to do his best to defend the uh, A bomb side. I'm not sure what uh, Catalyst was really looking at there. It seemed like he was just running around and looking at the floor, but Has took advantage of it and indeed is taking advantage of the entire round. Picks himself up three kills and PDG finds two as well. So that's going to be another round over to Avant, surprisingly managing to clutch that round out. Yeah, surprisingly indeed. The boys. On Avant Guard playing very well once again. Well, at least two of them were. Uh, picking up five rounds between the pair of them. Eximus, however, is not out of this. They can do something. The hype train, can they do it? Get get on uh, get on now and just pick up the next ten rounds in a row. I suspect not. But uh, they will do everything they can, not wanting to drop down into this loser's bracket here as we are in a double elimination bracket competition. Avant, four players up. Xmas, four players up. Oh, what, running through the fire. We will see the guys from Xmas forming up to go down this long A side, perhaps. We'll have a look here. We do have Catalyst. We have Young. We have Magnum. And they are here down long A, flashed out just a tiny bit. But uh, I think they should be okay. Dev picks up one. Going to get taken down from behind. PDG undecided on where he wants to go. It looks like we may see a bomb plant go down. Only Peter left. He has a lot of work to do. I think maybe he just wants to get a couple of exit kills. Well, uh, yeah, their, their economy is not in the greatest of positions, so uh, probably wise here to save that M4 of his. So it looks like he's... Uh, well, he's got a, uh, a Zeus there, interestingly enough, so we'll see if he can pick someone off there with that <laughs> running out of long doors, but I highly doubt he'll be going for that. Unless he wants some swag kills or something like that, which would honestly be uh, fitting uh, into his personality, but it uh, doesn't matter. It looks like Eximus are going to try to hide here in pit and indeed not give PDG the opportunity to did go. Did he really have a time. Zeus there? He did have a Zeus. Yeah, good job, Peter. It doesn't look like they were going to give him any opportunity to pick up an exit kill there. And picking up their first round on that terrorist side, it was Eximus and. 
Avant-garde going to be forced here to go for a bit of an eco, so Eximus should relatively easily be able to roll over this one. They should indeed. Well, uh, are they going to stack? No, but Avant-Garde is going to stack by the looks of things. We jump out here. Snake Whale going to come around into B, into uppers uh, of tunnels there. Gets one. Will he get Magnum actually tagged up very, very heavily there? The guy's just going to force their way through. We jump out and see what's going to... Snake Whale going to poke around the corner, but Catalyst and Young here are going to come down to this A-bomb site. Petey going to get picked up. In the interim, nice little headshot there coming out from Catalyst with the M4 bomb plant is going to go down. We jump back here. We will see uh, Magnum holding out into uh, into double doors. He will see one. He does pick up one. The guys will know where he is now, but it doesn't matter. They should be able to hold this one. Jumping over here to Devington. Will he be able to take out Young? No, he doesn't. Dev going to get forced back, run his way all the way over perhaps to the B side maybe. Going to try and take out couple from through CT. That's what he's doing. Uh, trying to trying to find himself a free exit kill, but they know where he is now. And they're all going to run away. Xmas picking up two rounds in a row here and uh, starting to build the train here, Jordan. It's starting to leave the station. It's got a long, long way to go. Yeah, it's going to be a very long train ride you would expect, but Avant-Garde don't have a lot of money to play with at the moment. It looks like they're going to be going for another eco round, so... Uh, this stop for Eximus, I guess you could say, this station will be a relatively easy one for them if we're going with the train metaphor. They got a go-kart. Yeah. I'm going to just buzz through. All right, let's see what Eximus can do here. There's a massive stack in mid from Avant-Garde, but uh, no one from Eximus is going to be spotted out at all. So uh, they're going to get relatively free entry onto this A-bomb site if they manage to take down Haz, who is there on his own with the Desert Eagle. Uh, we'll see what he can do. Dev K is going to run up there onto short though and back him up. It looks like Avant have managed to rotate in time, but it's not going to matter because Eximus, with that weapon advantage, is going to take them down relatively easily. Dev K is going to be the only player alive. He's sitting up here. Oh, actually, I don't know where he is. He's somewhere on the A side. Oh, I'm yeah, he's he's hiding. Let me go for a massive clutch here. Let's see. Oh, he takes one down and cannot find the second, unfortunately for him. I thought he might be able to make a sneaky play because they didn't know where he was, but uh, in the end, not able to do so. Wouldn't that have been funny? That would have been. I would have laughed very much so if he had pulled that one off. Not today, however. Xmas still seven rounds short of bringing out overtime here on Dust 2. If they do lose this game of Vantgarde, will progress into the third round of the winner's bracket. Dev going to get flashed out, forcing him back onto the A-bomb site. See what the rest of the guys here are doing. It looks like they're, they're trying to pick up a, a couple of kills, perhaps down into mid. And we'll see Pruden. No, Dev actually taking him out just in the nick of time. Uh, Magnum smoking out here. And another member of his team pushing down three plays, actually, with the bomb going down into A. Has down all the way in mid, firing three CT and finding no one. Young getting a little bit tagged up the bomb. Should go onto the bomb site. Eximus Catalyst jumping over the ledge and getting picked up by PDG. And has their bomb plant down. Four plays left from Avant. They can still get this. There's, uh, in my mind, every expectation that they should be able to get this defused down and win this round and the game. Eximus Fid taking out Chris. Has is up. Fid Two is players left. Position here. He is in a very good position. PDG, you are the last player left. What are you going to do? He has to go for a fake or something. Oh, a bit of a lag glitch there. Let's see if he can... Well, he's going to try and fake it out. Uh, but uh, this, all the cards are in the favour of uh, Fid here. He just has to wait. Oh! Takes him down, but uh, no time. And uh, that was... Excellently played there by Finn. I think Peter would, la would rather lose and get the kill than win. Then. then win and get the kill? And win and not get the kill. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll get, have to ask him after the game. And when he might come down to the studios here at Guff Brisbane. Never know. We'll see what happens here. But uh, Avant-Garde, once again on a around PDG, the one this time going to be taking the Desert Eagle as well as Dev K and Has. Has, though, manages to find the first kill of the round, so that's a, a good pickup for him, but certainly uh, they would probably need another kill at least before they can start to think about 
Winning the round, and there it is. Haz is going to take down two players so far with that De Desert Eagle. So uh, paying off so far, and it's now going to be the three players of Eximus. Trying to defend this one. Fid is going to pick up the first kill for his team onto Chris. But uh, still a player advantage at the moment for Avant-Garde. You'd expect they should be losing a couple of players on the entry. But once they close the range, those this is going to start to prove powerful. The bomb is down there on long as well. So... Uh, it's going to take a, a little while for those guys to get there and put it onto the bomb site. Chris is on his own, and uh, actually PDG takes down the bomb carrier as well, so uh, things not looking too good here for Chris Magnum. But having said that, he picks up two kills relatively quickly. PDG has been taken down. It's oh my goodness! Are you kidding? Wow. Dev K. Wow. That was dirty. Wow. <laughs> oh, and wasn't that... A fitting end to that game, Jordan. That was fantastic. Avant Guard taking out Eximus here. They will go through to the next round. I think that should make it a uh, 16 and 9. Do we know who they're going up against yet, Jordan? Uh, well, we have a look at our. Let's refresh our let's brackets. Let's refresh our bracket and see. Yeah. Uh, looks like the game between Sub Zero and Team Skyfire is still underway. So. Not going to be uh, aware yet of who Avant Garde is going to be going up in the next round against. But uh, I don't know if we'll cover that one. We'll probably try and jump into a Vox or Immunity game yeah. or something like that. Kind of shuffle it around and see who we can uh, spectate. And then uh, we'll get back to you guys on that one. But uh, I think we might go for a quick break here before we start off round three here for the ACL Sydney Land Qualifiers here from Guff Brisbane. This is Team Down TV. My name is Elfish Guy. That is Sandman. And we'll be back soon with the next game. <laughs> 